Well, during the war, there was such a labor shortage. Um, so they could not get people to run these machines to build this Liberator bomber. So uh, it wasn't just Ford. I mean, that basically, the, you know, the FDR administration and Eleanor Roosevelt was such, a, was such a force behind this to get women into the factories. And we all know what happened next. But uh, the, the character of Rosie the Riveter, you know, she, she was based on this woman named Rose Monroe. She was actually based on a number of different women. But it began with Rose Monroe, who was a riveter at the Willow Run factory. And yes, during the war, they wanted to make use of any labor they could find. So here was a liberator where they had to have um, people climb inside a wing and use rivets, so they hired dwarves. They had epileptics. They had blind people. If you could walk, they found you a job. Something that struck Deaf, me as amazing. blind, legless people, armless people. Absolutely. Amazing. Um, they had people coming there and showing up from the south who had never worn shoes. And they showed up at this factory and uh, uh, to, you know, they wanted to work and they wanted to serve, and mostly they wanted to be able to make money and, and support themselves. They had never worn shoes in their lives because Ford had sent, the labor shortage was so extreme, the Ford Motor Company sent buses sweeping through the South, filled them up with people who had never been out of their hometown, and drove them to, to, uh, to Dearborn.